Yo, what's good, America? It's your boy, Hafiz. Chris, it's all the show, baby. Yeah, and welcome to another episode of the Roommates Podcast, a late night conversation taking you behind the scenes of becoming, featuring all the interesting people, perspective, and conversations you experience on the way. Also. Also known as the best hour of your week where you are entertained. Like a stand-up. Educated. Like a TED Talk. And enlightened. Like a sermon, baby. Boom. Hey, mm, man. Mm, mm, We're doing mm. something different this week. Ah. I feel good. <laughs> We're doing something different this week. I feel like we should do one of those Funk Master Flex rants. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, we're going to go ahead and bring the roommate in at the beginning. I know we yes. usually don't do this. No, we don't. But for this roommate, I think we got to go ahead and bring him in at the beginning. And he's a special guy. He's a very special you guy. You guys are looking for ratings, huh? <laughs> <laughs> of course. Hey, of you, course. Got you got it. You got it. But without further ado, guys, please introduce or welcome to the podcast. Uh, your brand new roommate, Mr. Gary Vanderchuk, a.k.a. Gary V. What up, fellas? Thank you so much. Thrilled to be here. Hey, man, appreciate you. Yes, First yes, and foremost, this view is phenomenal. Right? Like, how you concentrate? Because <laughs> like, I'm fucking focused. <laughs> <laughs> but looking at the garden every day makes it fun. I mean, I wish the Knicks were playing a little bit better, but um, it's funny. When we moved into this office, there's, there's two, I guess there's four corners, but there was two core corner offices mm -hmm. this side and all the way on the other opposite side gotcha. and the other side is even better it's mm. the water it's the statue of liberty oh it's new jersey i'm an immigrant that grew up in new jersey yeah so it's like made for me <laughs> yeah. Yeah. and yet i still was like nah i want to look at the knicks yeah, like, yeah. yeah and the knicks yeah. suck for the last 20 years that's how much blue and orange i've got in my body and so not as much as green with mm. the jets but um yeah, this is a nice deal. Man, that, uh, that rookie y'all picked up looking really good in the summer league. Man, it's so funny. I got some good text exchange with my brother of like saying, like, I really believe in this kid. I'm really excited. Mm -hmm. Yet, I never watched him play at Kentucky. Yeah. It was just completely intuitive. He goes, why? I'm like, well, I don't know. I don't have a real reason. <laughs> but the way the NBA is going, like, I just could see, I, you know, it's real interesting, his first summer league game. It obviously caught a lot of people's attention. Yep. I think uh, I'm excited about it. That's good. I'm excited about it. So, whose season are you more excited about? The Jets. The <laughs> <laughs> well, that was easy. Because yeah. Zinger's, Zinger's out for the, until Christmas. Okay. okay. So, poor Zinger's out until Christmas. Obviously, we'll watch Knox develop and see if Frank, the point guard, can develop. Okay, and Nick Super Nick Mario Nick. just mm. signed. So, he's an interesting prospect. So, he might pop. But Sam Darnold. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like the, you believe in Sam? Do you believe in Sam? Honestly. So, honestly. So, I got some really good. Okay. We got content. <laughs> I don't even have to... Documenting my life on my vlog has been the greatest thing. So I have real content. For ex Here's what I mean. Uh, some people who are listening may know, uh, my brother AJ and I have a separate company called Vayner Sports, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, which does talent representation. Jerry Maguire shit. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and, we, <laughs> <laughs> and, we, and we courted Darnold, and mm. we were in the finals with him. Yeah. So I sat in Sam Darnold's living room mm. with his parents, pitching him why he should sign with us. It, we got real close. He mm -hmm. didn't go with us. I get why quarterback. We didn't. We're still a young company. Gotcha. I think he was a little scared. But him and I became unbelievably personally close That's awesome. through the process. I also got fairly close with Josh Rosen, who I love Chosen a lot Rosen. as well. So both of them, I was really like, yo, this would be real, real cool. And the way it worked out, because Baker moved up. Yeah. You know, because at one point I was like, fuck, Darnold's going to go to Browns, Rose is going to go to Giants, yep. and what are we going to do? <laughs> uh, and not that I, not to disrespect the other quarterbacks, but those were the two guys for me. Uh, man, when he got drafted, I lost my shit. I yeah. believe in him tremendously. Gotcha. I think he's much more mobile. Mm. I think he's more green than people realize. Mm. So actually, my only concern is that I don't think he's ready. Yeah. They throw him out too early. Yeah. It's New York. But what's weird about Sam, my personal point of view, is his demeanors on point. I think New York, you can only win on two demeanors. Mm -hmm. Either Sam's, which I think is more like Eli, yeah. gotcha. chill as fuck. Yeah. Like, I don't think Sam's gonna be affected. I mean it. Wow. When so. people are like, fuck yeah, you, he's from you, you suck. from LA. Sam sucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not even about LA. Because yeah. Sanchez was from LA, yeah. others yeah, are from LA. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> it's a DNA yeah. thing. Sanchez is a star, like yeah, charisma, yeah. Yeah. guy who goes out. Darnold's like staying in on his 21st so, birthday. Okay. He's just mm. cerebral. Gotcha. And so, like, when the post's mm. headline is Sam the Suck, yeah. some people struggle with that. Yeah. And I just think it's not going to affect him. Mm. You see? So, real quick on that. Go ahead. I think the other way to win New York is, like, Jamal Adams, mm -hmm. right, okay. who, yeah. who was our first pick from the year before. He's, like, Mr. New York, out and about. Like, yeah. when he gets his game going and the Jets get good, he's going to be a star in this town. Mm -hmm. He's going to be courtside at the Knicks. Yeah. He's going to be this and that. 
And those are the only two ways. Yeah. Being an alpha, alpha dog like yeah. Jamal mm-hmm. or being an alpha dog who's cerebral. Yeah. yeah. And I think everybody in the middle gets yeah. killed by this town. Yeah. That's at least my hope. No. Wow. I was going to say, you turned me into a believer in Sam because at first I wasn't a believer in Sam. I watched Sam play in college. Um, I love USC, big USC fan from the Matt Liner days, Carson Palmer days. So I've, I follow almost every single quarterback from USC from that period of time. But your point about the the cerebralness and chaos. That's my number one thing. If, if I want, if I'm drafting a quarterback or picking up a quarterback, recruiting a quarterback, I'm not looking at highlights. I want to see third and long. I want to <laughs> see fourth down. I want to see two minute or, drills. Or, yeah. listen, I hate him with all my fucking guts. Yeah. But when the Jets played the Patriots uh, in 2010 in a Monday night game, the Patriots beat the Jets, I think, 45 to three. Mm. Now, seven weeks later, the Jets stunned the Patriots in the playoffs. That's why I'm probably bringing up this. <laughs> but there was a really interesting moment in that game where Tom Brady, the, Jet, the Jets are getting their ass kicked. I think at this point it goes to 28-3. to three, And Brady looks over at the Jets bench and basically says, fuck you, mm-hmm. right? I believe in that too. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like cerebral is, again, I believe in opposites. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like I think I'm that. Yeah. I think I'm crazy as fuck, competitive, high energy, but then I can also be kind and nurturing. And the reason I think I'm popping in like culture and society is I'm an enigma. I'm yeah. different. Mm-hmm. I'm showing two different things. And depending on the person, they're seeing one of three things. One, they're seeing the alpha dog, I'm gonna fucking kill you. And mm-hmm. for a lot of dudes, young dudes, they're like, yeah. I love it. Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Then other people, when they look at my content, they see the kind, compassionate, caring, patient, tried and true. And you know who likes that? A lot of 40 and older, or wisdom, or Mm -hmm. like even a 19 year old who's got wisdom. They see like the parent, the leader, the Mm -hmm. real fucking deal. They love that too. Or number three, because you're always finding what you're looking for, the combination of those two things, the third thing they see is they don't like me at all. Mm -hmm. Because the thing I'm doing is putting pressure on people. Yeah. Like my content puts pressure. Yeah. when you want to spend time blaming everybody else, you do not consume my content. That's real. Yeah. Because you think I'm an asshole. Yeah. You think, I, like, the friends that you have that don't fuck with me, <laughs> it's because they're still stuck with excuses. And I'm not mad at them. Yeah. I don't, I actually want them to win. I'm yeah. hoping that, like, one time on that Instagram feed, they're going to see something and they were ready to hear it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because they realized the excuses, like, the excuses part works for no one. That's real. The quarterback that blames their left tackle, Loses. Yep. Gosh. Yep. Left tackle is important. No? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Now that 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 quarterback thing is big because, like you say, you look at all the greats. Like no matter what happened, like, like you you hear them post game interviews and you hear them talk about like it's all on me. And I think that's I think that's a really dope part. And that's life. Listen yeah, to make yeah. it. Listen, everybody who's listening, none of us are going to be NFL quarterbacks. Let's get it to real life. If your job sucks, yeah, that's on you. Real? Go get a different job. Yeah. Take a step back. My biggest thing right now that I'm trying to reconcile is how to get people off of the drug that's keeping them away from taking a step back to take two steps forward. This is what I mean. If you're making 71000 because you went to a decent school, collected some debt, and you got a good job, but you fucking hate it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You could get 42000 working at Kmart. Mm-hmm. You could. That's real. Yeah. You could make 27000 working at 7-Eleven. You could. Yeah. The reason you don't is because you put some money down on this fancy apartment. The reason you don't is because you want some fresh kicks or a fat ride mm-hmm. to get that girl or whatever. Like The reason you don't is because you created expenses yep. around what you want to achieve now. Yep. The reason I really won in hindsight, because don't forget my narrative. People who want to like drag me down or troll me, yeah. be like, yeah, but don't listen to him, his dad. They don't know the story. They don't. I mean, the story, just so everybody's listening, is I worked my whole fucking life to a 34 years old and left Wine Library, and yeah, I built it from three to 60, but I left with nothing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't own Wine Library. I never made two, three, four hundred thousand a year. I left with nothing. Mm-hmm. Why did I pull it off? Because I lived in Springfield, New Jersey and paid $1,100 in rent, right? Like, and like, which is a lot of money, actually. It is. I mean, yeah, in, yeah, yeah, in lot- Houston, yeah, you balling. <laughs> but Jersey, Jersey sucks. That was like a piece of shit, yeah. right? In the villas on Springfield Avenue, I bought nothing. Yeah. Mm. I had nothing. Yeah. I owned one pair of sneakers a year. Was it case twist? <laughs> it was, it was case twist in sixth whoa, grade. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, it, you know, I had no clothes. I didn't go out. Yeah. I didn't do shit. Yeah. Like, I didn't have a BMW. Yeah. Mm. I didn't do man. shit. I kept it simple as fuck because I love the game. Yeah. One thing I tweeted today, I'm really trying to figure this out because I don't want to be as 
lame or as vanilla as like love the process, yeah. unfortunately, that's the answer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like if you just love what you fucking do that's for real. real, for real, yeah. well, then you probably have a shot. If you love what you do and you're patient and you actually mentally give up your 20s yeah. and early 30s, shit could get crazy. Yeah. I mean, look at us. <laughs> <laughs> but now, so so I, I love that point. And this is where one of the things me, me and Chris were talking about um, a couple of weeks ago. And you had brought it up about this idea between perseverance and delusion. Yeah. And one mm -hmm. of the things you talked about insight. is like your, your biggest thing was Which like, I don't think I spent enough time talking man, about. Man, I'm so telling you, you, bringing you, it up. You, you, need to, you need to rant yeah, on that. I agree. Because yeah. that, that's, that's yeah, write that down, my man. <laughs> yeah, write that down. People are writing it down. Yeah, we're like yeah. making faces to Facebook. <laughs> Facebook community, tweet me that. I'm serious. Did you watch, how many people are on right now? Six, 643. Good. Yeah. Fucking tweet me. Hey, go yeah, ahead. Yeah. So Let me take this. Go ahead. I don't want to take away all your Go ahead and do it, man. Go ahead and do it. So what's the name of the podcast? It's called The Roommates Podcast. Oh, yeah, I think you're on the other side, Gabe. Yeah, you show showing the city right now, Gabe. <laughs> you looking really old right now, Gabe. Go ahead, tell him. Yo, it's a Roommates podcast, at Roommates H... Uh, what, go ahead, don't worry. At Roommates HTX. Oh, go ahead, no check, it yeah, go ahead check it out. Yeah, go ahead check it out. One more time, because I'm a, guys, I'm about to cut you off, and you're going to have to hear the rest of it on their podcast. Hey, it's a Roommates podcast. Go ahead and look us up, SoundCloud, iTunes, all that good stuff, and also look at us up on social media, at Roommates HTX. There it is. HTX. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, keep going. Yeah, so the, the biggest thing that you talked about was like your superpower is your patience, right? Your yes. superpower is your ability to be like, you know what? I'm it's gonna... perspective. Okay, go ahead. Patience is a byproduct of my perspective. Real. Right? Mm -hmm. like, like my perspective in the macro is there's abundance in the world. Mm -hmm. My perspective is like most people are good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My perspective is nobody's victories are taking out of mine. Mm -hmm. My perspective is like find good always. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Be patient. If you're good enough, you will win. Because by virtue, like by structure, mm -hmm. if you were good enough, you would have figured it out. Yeah. Yeah. If you weren't good enough, it means you dwelled on being a minority, by being a woman, by yeah. having a bad boss, by having an alcoholic dad, by growing up in Phoenix. Like, yeah. I don't know, sorry, Phoenix. You know, like, <laughs> Phoenix. Shut, 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 shut. <laughs> you know, like, yeah. like by virtue, being good means net, net, did you win? Yeah. yeah. And so all these people that are like, but I was good, but I got fucking taken advantage of. Yeah. No, you didn't. Mm. So my perspective, and one of the pillars of my perspective is patience. It just makes sense, my man. It does. You guys are going to live to 100 years old. How old hey, are you? Man, 27. You? 24. Right. And now somebody's going to leave a comment and be like, uh, like a bus or cancer. I get it, asshole. <laughs> but, 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 but at a macro, yeah. it's very likely that you guys are going to live for 70 more years. Yeah. And when you actually take that into account, I don't know, like maybe you just start doing different, maybe all of a sudden, like eating shit for a year as an intern mm. for a fucking G, even though you're not getting paid a lot, is smart, not stupid. My yeah. man, I'm telling you right now, it's crazy. I'm thinking about working for Mark Cuban and Bezos and Zucks and mm, P. Yeah. Diddy for a year for free. Yeah. If mm. I'm doing that, <laughs> what the fuck are you all doing? <laughs> Gotta take it. Like, I'm, I'm literally not joking that like yeah. if something happens when there's a transition, like Disney comes and offers me eight billion for this or, or, or Marcus becomes the CEO or Andre or, like if there's a transition moment, I'm not joking. Yeah. I may literally at 48, at 54, have a transition year where I intern for somebody with a billion in my bank. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can live free with a billion. <laughs> but yeah. here's what's funny. It's easy it's actually easier to mm. do it free being 24 and having nothing yeah. than being 48 and having a billy. That's it's real. easier. Mm. The fuck am I going to intern for free and wasting my time yeah. at 48? Yeah. After I did for 30 years? Yeah. That's harder. Th actually, let's talk about actions. All right. What the fuck am I doing on this podcast? You are having let, a great <laughs> like, let's, Yeah. When people shit on me, like like I know people listen right now, and I know you have an audience of people that don't know me, right? Yeah. Real. And they're like trying to calibrate what's going on right now, right? Yeah. yeah. Actions. Time is what we're talking about. That's real. Right? Mm -hmm. one Time is what we're talking about, right? I should not by any stretch of the imagination be doing this podcast right now. Of course now. not. <laughs> <laughs> like triple zero. Yeah. Like my comms team, my PR team gets so mad at me. I'm passing on Wall Street Journal, CNBC, yeah. CNN. I'm passing on shit all day long. Yeah. Covers a mag, passing. Pass, 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 busy, busy. Good life. <laughs> <laughs> what am I doing here? 
it's I'm living my truth, mm. which is like, what are we all doing? I think it's good ideas to fucking live humble as fuck in your 20s, stop worrying about what other people think about you, don't live for somebody else, which means your parents and your boys and girls. You're living for your parents or your friends. Like you need a BMW for one reason, to leverage it in society to show who you are. Mm -hmm. You can't love driving it enough to put yourself in more debt. That's true. You can't, Mm -hmm. don't fuck with me. I hate when people bullshit me, they love it. (laughs) Fuck you, you don't love it. You love what it gets you. You wanna hook up, you think it's a leverage point, period. Mm. You wanna show people you made it. You didn't waste your time, you made it. Since you see me last in high school, I made it. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're yeah, yeah. worried about other them. people's opinions. Yeah. I say go inside your own fucking head and do right shit, first for yourself. Yeah. I am sitting on this podcast right now because I ate shit for 15 years out the gate, which gives me the luxury now to put other people on. I love mm. it. I'm putting you on. Yes, you are. Let's not get confused. Nope. <laughs> What's gonna happen after this? You're gonna promote it. I'm gonna give it a little share. I just did a little promotion. Now they wanna see it. Mm-hmm. You're gonna get a whole new audience. Mm-hmm. But way more importantly than that, people aren't smart. Way more important than that, you're about to get any guest you want. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, talk that shit, game. Right, talk, talk it. I ain't gonna lie to you, because I'm definitely it. gonna hit them up. <laughs> Not afraid. But my yeah. number one asset is time. I got yeah. a lot of pressures, guys. I got a ton of shit going on. I canceled a trip to Tennessee today in my own office's ninth anniversary problem party. There, I got 40 disappointed employees in Chattanooga, Tennessee right now. Mm. I canceled Wednesday to go out to Chicago for a big piece of business because I got shit to do right now internally. And I'm fucking sitting here with you two jerkers, right? Yeah. Right? I've been yeah. calling <laughs> <laughs> because I'm giving love. Yeah, I love it. That's my version at 42 and winning. Yeah. So if I'm doing that, what's your I excuse? I hate when the 24 year old or the 22 easy for you millionaire easy for you. Fuck you. You don't know me. Yeah. yeah. You don't know me. Who, who upset you? <laughs> Who's in your comments right now? Get, what's my going man, on? It's it's the 90 percent silent. Yeah. My guy, for mm. all the love you see for me on social, mm. and I get plenty of love. Yeah. I got like I, at the opposite. I got people who think I'm fucking walking on water. I get it. Yeah. You have to understand, I'm so passionate to help these people that are sitting and making excuses right now yeah. because it's just perspective. Yeah. Like, it's just, it's just, mm-hmm. it's just switch it. Yeah. D Rock became dramatically, D Rock had patience and willing to eat shit, which is special. Yeah. That's why he's, but, but what I gave D Rock perspective wise was creative subjective. Get out your own shit. Eliminate, you don't have ego as a guy, mm-hmm. you have ego in your work. Mm-hmm. Get rid of that ego. Ego's mm. fucking dangerous. People confuse my confidence and my optimism for ego. Yeah. And I may have ego too. I don't, you know, these are semantics now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I'm telling you right now, the people that know me best think I'm humble, not that I have an ego. No. And that is what this is all about. I absolutely love it. And, and I, I couldn't even agree more. Like, I think that's the one thing that we try to do that really caused us to gravitate so much to you is that you're doing this out of love and to add value to people's lives. No, you're not, you're just not trying. Because by the way, yeah. I'm not fucking the best guy on earth. It's because yeah. I want legacy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. People out here chasing money, fuck money. Like money's important, I yeah. get it. Yeah. Cool. Like, like money's cool, like yeah. I get it. Yeah. You know what money's best for? Freedom. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You can do what you want when you want, but yeah. you don't need a lot of money for that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't understand where the yachts and the boats and the fucking Rolexes and like, and by the way, you love that shit, Mazel Tov. Do you. <laughs> Mazel Tov. Do you. Yeah. But I'm telling you right now, um, I'm doing it because I want legacy. Listen, I want legacy. Do you know how nice it is that your daughter is going to send me a whatever the fuck a text message is in that day? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It will that. happen. <laughs> it will happen. I write, that, write that in, in the clip. You want to write that down? I'll write that down, yeah. <laughs> but now, know what Gary kind of reminds me of? <laughs> Achilles from Troy. Oh my God, bro. <laughs> you ever see Troy Yo, before, Gary? I don't consume content, bro. What? <laughs> you watch no movies? I don't watch movies like that. At all? You know what's that funny, man? Funny. Ready for this? Okay. I watch one or two movies a year and they all happen the same. Actually, let me, I don't want to bullshit it. So you, you tell Ready me for this? I watch movies. either two or four movies a year. Here's how it goes. I watch two usually because I'll watch two movies between Christmas and New Year's. Okay. Because I'm off the grid with the fam, yeah. checked mm-hmm. out, good shit comes out, mm-hmm. we've got to do something, right? Me and the wife will go check out a movie, two, boom. I may catch two others on some long ass trip on a flight. When gotcha. the Wi Fi's fucked up and I got all my work done and I got no choice. But even the last time that happened, I dropped the airplane project because. That was amazing. Because I just got motivated 
and it was like I saw a movie. I got watched a movie. I watched a Tupac movie, which oh, was yeah. fine. Yeah, I liked it. Was, it. I liked it because yeah. I loved the story, yeah, but yeah, it wasn't yeah. like a great fucking yeah, movie. Great movie. But like yeah. the story, you loved. I loved Tupac. Yeah. And then what happened? I had more time, and I was like, instead of watching another movie, I'm like. I'm gonna drop a mixtape, <laughs> and it was like terrible. And like, actually, you know, D Rock, we need to like resurface the airplane. Actually, you know what? Can you make a note to the team? We, we this Every D-Rock. year <laughs> that it's the one year anniversary of the airplane project, we need to go hard and push it again because that shit is evergreen, universal. That wasn't time shit. That wasn't like use Facebook like this, use Instagram like that. That was like fucking thesis shit. Mm. Yeah, that, that, D Rock, can we tell you do some things as well? <laughs> but, uh, but 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 going. I worked back. for seven years solo making my shit before yeah. there was a D Rock. Yeah, hey man, we, Patience, we, we, on it, we on it with you. So going back to the point about perseverance versus delusion. Yes. Let's talk about that because okay. you made a really great point. Like there's two people. There's two people in working right now. One person. Let's just use rap because rap is, okay. is easy. One rappers. Both of them like, yo, I love Gary Vee. I'm about to grind six years. Put my head down. Don't look at no number. Just work, 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 work. One rapper is it's gonna win. It's gonna win. Yeah, one of them lose. is gonna lose mm-hmm. because one. Let me tell you what you're looking for, and I'm ahead. glad you bring this up and you're helping me. Yeah, you need to see something. Yeah, hmm. I think people are looking for everything. Yeah, and I think the person that's delusional doesn't see anything. Okay, like a year in, she's got nothing. Mm-hmm. Another year in, she's got nothing. And when I mean nothing, it's like you need to see. You need to see shit. Yeah. You need to see your Spotify go up. Yeah. You need to get more. Sa- like, listen, if you're a rapper out there and you're two years in and you drop 30 songs, 50 songs, 100 songs, and you're basically around the same numbers, you're in trouble. Mm, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> that just, that just, I agree. Yeah. But if you're seeing a little something, then you got something. I, I see a little something. Yeah. I'm always seeing a little something. Yeah. Like, the reason I win is I see a little something. By the way, sometimes it goes the other way. D Rock, how's our YouTube numbers views doing? Nice and steady and shit. We're flat as fuck. Yeah. Why? Because the audience on YouTube doesn't want to see what I'm putting out on Daily V. Here's yeah. the good news. I believe in what I'm doing. I think I'll be historically correct. I'm documenting. I'm not producing sitcoms and entertainment on YouTube like so many of the people that are winning. I'm not hacking the tile as much. I'm not hacking the title as much. I'm not hacking the content within. Mm -hmm. If I fucking did an interview of Richard Branson and we're both jumping out of a fucking jet and we're skydiving and that's the interview, (laughs) it would get views. I know how to do it. I know how to do it. I don't want to do that. Mm. What I want to do is put down a piece of work that nobody else has put, which is I'm putting out a fucking documentation, a documentary that has never been seen before. And when people take a step back, and look at 20 years of Daily B, they're gonna be like, that's fucking crazy. Yeah, like facts. you're literally, literally gonna see yourself in 17 years looking all young and fresh and had hair. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, Hopefully I'll still be fresh <laughs> during that time you as understand? well. Yeah, 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 it's real. And so like, you know, you gotta see something. And so, or you have to know the mission you're on. Mm-hmm. Or you just love it. Like listen, if you're making 100,000 a year or 40,000 a year or 150,000 a year, but you're doing your rap on the side and you just love it, like you kind of deep down know that you're never really, really gonna be like, you know, really pop, like Lil Yachty popped from the get. Yeah. You know, I hate when people are like, what about Yachty? I'm like, yeah, it happens. Mm-hmm. It happens. It's Arkansas State, yeah. one, two songs, boom, boom, boom. It happens. Yeah. What about the people that were fucking hustling for seven years and then it finally happened? It happens. Yep. G-Eazy you know? of the world, two chains. That's exactly right, mm-hmm. right? And so like, sometimes you gotta change your name from Titty Boy. Yeah. You know, well, like sometimes- That's a wild name, first of all. <laughs> and, so, and so, you know, it is what it is. But I would say like, real simple. I mean, even Nipsey Hussle, man. Yeah. Like As somebody who's been a fan of his for a decade, this last album was kind of like where he went to that yeah, next place, next point, yeah. you know? Um, you know, and so anyway, nonetheless, where I'm going, the difference is you got to see something. Yeah. You got to see a little bit of growth. You got to get that encouragement email. You know, sometimes it's volume, sometimes it's impact. Let me explain. S- Tira Wack. Let's talk about Tira Wack. Somebody mm-hmm. I really, really believe in. Mm-hmm. Okay? She's going to be big. She just put out a project and it got real love. Yeah. Like, what does she look like? Her numbers haven't super exploded. Sweetie's exploded much more, right? Like she, her numbers in the last little bit, Tierra's numbers didn't blow up as much as I thought they would on Insta from this last little batch, but the comment from Meek Mill of like, you're gonna be a legend. The tweet from Missy Elliott, like you're next. Mm-hmm. That's seeing something. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, understand? That's real. So it might be just a DM from Oprah, like keep going girl, you got this. Yeah. Or it might be boom, you put out a song, you got a million listens, right? Saba. 
up in Chicago. Like, Saba. You know, Saba. <laughs> you know, he's grinding, he's grinding. You know, I see little things. It's little, it's little. Yeah. Like, why wasn't it when he was on the co-signed by Chance on that album that went completely ballistic? It wasn't Angels. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was, but it wasn't. Yeah. Right? Um, I don't know, man. Like, it's so obvious to me, but here's what I would say. You're delusional if you've been doing something for 24, 36 months and you're kind of in the same place. Mm. Mm. You're, you're being patient if it's like a slow and little, gr- like you can't be climbing a mountain and three years later you're still at the base. Mm. But it's okay if you're only one tenth of the way there. That means you made some motherfucking progress. That's real. Yeah. I agree. That's real. Now, that's a good point. Comedian, yeah, you know who's really good at this? Comedians. Mm. Oh my God. Comedians <laughs> eat shit for a long time. They do for a yeah. long time. Like I agree. Kevin Hart was grinding for a long time. Mm. Hassan Minaj is about to have his moment. He was been grinding for a long time. Mm-hmm. All these comedians have been grinding for a long time and now Netflix came. They didn't know Netflix was coming along yeah. and rebooting the late night special. Now they're all being put on, right? Yeah, comedians real. are more in culture now because of Netflix. That's real. right. Yeah. That's real. Yeah. That's good. We ask ourselves that, that all the time and we always, one, we always go back, I feel like to, to the rappers and the comedians of the world, we always go back to why we do this. We know we have this podcast because we want to impact people and it's our vehicle to do that. So we know our why, and then we also look at the results. We know that, you know, the What's guests, your selfish why? What's my selfish why? Yeah, because why? everybody's why <laughs> now is altruistic Jesus. as fuck. Right? Like, you like, like, like even, notice, <laughs> even notice how you guys brought up, like, Gary, we know you do out of love, and immediately I jump in and say, cool, but also I want statues. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like, yeah, I want yeah, November 14th to be a national fucking holiday. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> like, if I can really get crazy and get a couple more nuts off. I love this guy. I'm not serious. Like, a national if, holiday. If I can get a couple more selfish nuts off, yeah. business-wise, in the next decade or two, yeah. don't give me, do not let me buy the Jets at 57 or 61. <laughs> you want to act Because if you give me 30 years, yeah. I'll be on some Dalai Lama, like, you know, like real heavy shit mm. with, like, like, I'm like, all right, who's got, we got presidents, we got Martin Luther King, like fucking Columbus. I'm like, how the fuck over the next 30 years do I make November 14th my fucking birthday, a national holiday, and it's gonna be sucky because it's close to Thanksgiving. <laughs> fucking like, like, I do it because I want, I want the admiration yeah. because I'm trying to still scratch the itch. My mom admired, loved, hyped me so heavy that the only, people don't get it, the only way to really go there to that like real place yeah. is to give, not take. That's mm-hmm. real. Like nobody gives, like do you know how many billionaires there are that you've never heard of that are on a yacht right now, pumping champagne and you think it's <laughs> great, but nobody gives a fuck about them and their three kids from four marriages are gonna fucking, <laughs> which the math doesn't even work on that. Uh, you know, or actually, actually does, one of them didn't have kids. Yeah, you yeah, know, like, yeah. you know, <laughs> They're all gonna fight for the fortune because yeah. he or she they didn't do the right thing and put like people don't get legacy. That's real. Mm-hmm. So what's you know cool? That's yeah. very nice that you're nice boys and you want to fucking <laughs> Thank do you. it. Right. Me right. But, okay. I feel bad for that. But but yeah. I think the reason I'm putting pressure on no, this conversation is good. we need to have more truth out there. That's real. People right now everyone's on like I want to heal the world. No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> like, like you'll be thrilled if that happens as well. <laughs> yeah. I think it's super important. Look at me, right? Yeah. All the best things I do, charity, helping, all this stuff, like quiet stuff, only Tyler, D-Rock, some of these people know the best parts of me as a person are unknown. Mm. Okay. When you bring up my name, a lot of people are like, oh, that's that dude that's crazy that wants to buy the Jets. That yeah. sounds like a dick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. So like, I'm not scared to own my selfish shit. As a matter of fact, I put more light on my selfish shit than on my selfless shit. Mm. I let my, my mouth is selfish. My actions are selfless mm. because the actions are the truth. Yeah. All these people that are about the culture and the community and young entrepreneurs. They aren't. Yeah, they may write a $5,000 check to a contest to look good, yeah. but are they sitting with you for 45 minutes giving up the actual asset? Nope. No. Nah. So Chris, what is your selfish why? <laughs> That's a good question. And, and, the, and Chris, the key here, man, is to not be full of shit because you have to understand mm-hmm. it's liberating. Like, and it's really simple. Yeah. Is it fame? Yeah. Is it mm-hmm. money? Yeah. Is it experiences that those mm. two things bring. Like, mm. I think it's amazing to want to be like LeBron and jump off a cliff on 4th of July weekend. I think it's yeah. amazing to be like Khaled getting yelled at for, even though he told the conference that he wasn't gonna be there, 
being in the pool with his kid, living that life. Yeah. Like, I think it's amazing if you want to have like yeah. seven, you know, supermodels laying on the deck of your yacht. That's fine. <laughs> the deck of your yacht. <laughs> like, do well, you? Yeah. Like, I, like yeah. I don't want that. Yeah. I'd rather be garage sailing on Saturday. Because <laughs> that's what I love. I love tchotchkes. Look at my fucking office. Like, see cool. Everybody's got it. theirs. Yeah. Like, what's yours for real? For real. For real, motherfucker. <laughs> for real. Oh, this is I haven't been called a motherfucker. <laughs> this is my father. Um, I would say Shout motherfucker Chris. Um, uh, I think it is the money. Okay. I think I, I, I always, that. always desired and, and liked the idea. What do you want to buy with it? See, a lot of people ask me that. I think it's experiences. It's really just experiences. Like what? Like what? Yeah, not I like, would love to. Do you want to go look uh, at the pyramids in Egypt? <laughs> or do you want to take, you take your actress girlfriend on actress? the river? You know what I'll I mean? Do some, I'll do some nasty things. Uh, <laughs> 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 Don't give me this platform. Everything I ain't going to do. But, that, um, but that's, but that's I, I got to tell you why that's important. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Let's say it's nasty things, actress, right? Nasty then, things. Then you could start talking about like, you probably need the money, but maybe you don't. Yeah. Mm. And maybe what you definitely need to do is move to LA. Mm. Mm. I want to buy the New York Jets. Yeah. Everything I do professionally mm-hmm. is about buying the New York Jets. Well, that was easy. But I it's see. not, right? Yeah. Selling a Gosh. big piece of my company to Steve Ross, the owner of the Miami Dolphins, is not easy when you know you're giving it away. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Right? Mm-hmm. Uh, Passing on a two hundred thousand dollars speaking gig to go speak for free to the owners in Aspen, Colorado, because yeah. you want to build relationship, not easy. Got you. Got it. That's real. When you know what the fuck you're up to, yeah. it impacts your fucking decisions. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The problem is most people don't synthesize what the fuck they're up to. Mm. It's vanilla as fuck. Like mm. I want money. Cool. Mm. Next. Yeah. Why? 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 Mm. Yeah. You. Nah, this is this is pretty easy. <laughs> but, yeah. but for me, I, I want a Sistine Chapel. Like kind of like in your sense, like I want to be the greatest ever to do something. I want to have something that I've created. Do you know what that thing is? Well, there's two things potentially right now. So it's it's a book and it's also a movie. So those are the two things. And then the third thing can potentially be just like hands-on impacting people's lives. Like I think it's super dope. Like Gandhi, Oprah, like a one name person, you know, Malcolm X, Mark Luther King, though that's two names. But like, I, I kind of want my legacy in regards to like, I've absolutely changed people's lives. Like, like in your sense, like. So what's important about yeah. that is you got to think about, so self-awareness matters, right? Yeah. So to me, I didn't realize at 25 how much I wanted to teach and give back. Yeah. I just didn't. At first it was just like help my family business. Mm-hmm. So, you know, when it gets that heady that early, yeah. and I think that's, you're a man of the time, right? Like, this is not the shit that 25, 27, 29 year olds were spitting two decades ago, right? You know, you need to be thoughtful about that. If that's the truth, yeah. you've got some big advantages. Number one, money's not part of that equation. It's not, not for me, not at all. As a matter of fact, I would never buy a home if that's your goal. I would never buy a home. I never, yeah, 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 <laughs> he does have a bed. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm real, like, no, like, I mean, like no bullshitting you. Like, I, I mean, I've been this way for a long time. A long like, time. Like, yeah. they know, like, I don't care about money. Like, come in here, like, we're gonna interview you, interview a bunch of people, like, us losing the what's money. Your, what's your Instagram? My Instagram, Hafiz, yeah. H-T-X. Spell it for me. H-A-F. Hold on a second. H. A F. Mm-hmm. Two E's, yep, and a Z, yep. H T X Henry Theodore Xavier. I apologize because I got confused by something. H A E H A F. Two E's, yep, and a Z, yep, and, and H T X Henry Theodore Xavier. My dad taught me that when because you know he is he's from Nigeria. He has a Nigerian accent, so whenever he, he does says a, whenever he says a, a, a letter, he uh, first has of all, a, I followed you. Okay, thank you. Congratulations. Yeah. You gotta follow Chris too. I will. Oh, but maybe okay. I won't. Just oh. to make it funny. <laughs> that would be... I'll, I'll sleep fine, maybe tonight. I'll think about it. D-Rock, what's up? I'm real proud of you, man. I appreciate you. The first thing I really wanted to see, I love, I love fucking people that fucking live their truth. Yeah. You are in your comments, my guy. Oh, yeah, of course. But to course. me, that's the first one. Like, yeah. This one, you didn't get to the Easter one, but you I like your hat. Oh, yeah, um, thank you. I actually told him to get that hat. No, we, I uh, mean, Gary, <laughs> honestly, like, you can ask all of our listeners, like, we literally, our number one job is every comment, every email, every DM. Yeah, but you know what? Now thing. I'm going to get mad at you because your last three posts, you were in it, but the fucking four posts before that, not a single person. Let me, let me tell you something that matters okay. to me. Check this out. So these three you fucking killed, right? Yeah. But this, 
only eight comments. Nobody's got a reply, right? Ah, oh, dang. No, no. He it's, it doesn't end there. <laughs> no, no, you at least doesn't this. end there. Post before that, nobody got a reply, on right? Blast. Now, let me show you another thing. Nobody got a reply on that one. Here we go. Three back. Now the fourth one back. Twelve comments. No reply. Mm. There's a book behind you, right? No What's reply the on the post before that. That yellow book, that orange book. That's the most important book I ever wrote. It's called The Thank You Economy. Yeah. You know how people are like, well, give me something how you got there. Like, fucking don't give me motivation. Give me details. Here's my details. Yeah. From 2007 to 2012, I replied to every email and every tweet that I got, period, all of them. I went to sleep at three o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Every night. Mm. Five years, all of them. Yeah. If you want to change the world, yeah. you need to change person by person by person to show them you give a fuck. That's real. Mm. So what you need to do right now is on the flight home or walk I'm gonna home. I'm going to do it. Every one of them. I'm going to do it. I believe Hold you. Hold me accountable to that. No, you mean, I'm going to do it by the end of the day. Don't you know he's going to do it. No, I'm going to get me. No, I'm going to do it. I've been cussed out. I've been calling a motherfucker. You want to come in me now? Because like. That's the answer, my man. I love it. Because it will work. I love it. No, it's one real. One by one by one. It's real. The people in the last three posts on Instagram that you replied to yeah. feel differently about you yeah. than the five posts before that That's real. where you replied to no one. That's real. Mm. You ain't telling no lies. You're not telling no lies. That's why we love Gary Vee. You know what it is? Yeah. I know how I got here. Yeah. I just know how I got here. Yeah. Like, you know, the one thing that makes my life so fun is I just talk about the shit that's the truth to me and to other people that I've seen be successful. Yeah. And then- a lot of things I see other people being successful at, and I don't talk about it. Yeah. People are like, Gary Vee, talk about this, talk about that. I'm like, it's not real to me. Yeah. Even, even social issues sometimes. People are like, Gary Vee, you need to fucking tweet about this. I'm like, like everybody else who looks like a keyboard warrior? Yeah. You don't mm. know me. You don't know what I'm doing behind the scenes. You don't yeah. know who I'm meeting with. You don't know who I'm writing checks to. You don't know what I'm doing. That's yeah. real. So it's an inside game. Mm. That's real. Keyboard warrior. That's real. Yeah, everybody's great. <laughs> everybody's super down with it. Yeah. yeah. On fucking Twitter. What the fuck are you actually doing? Yeah. Mm. No, I absolutely love it. That's what's I love it. Um, ain't anything else, Chris? Man, we want to be respectful of a man's time. I mean, I know I've been I've been cussed out today. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me what's been going on. How's this been going? Huffies. Oh, you want me to do it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. No. It's it's been good. It's been it's been a lot of ups. It's been a lot of downs. I think the biggest thing that's really been dope is we've had a lot of opportunities with exposure wise. So like for example, like we we got an episode on own network show, The Book of John Gray. So got that exposure. Huge. We got um, we were on Fox News twenty six. We, we made a short film together on mental health. Love and it. so so we did a podcast. And then we did a film about it. We were on Fox News for that one. Featured Houston Chronicle, Houstonian Magazine, Houston Style. And I was trying to surprise you with this one, but we're going to be featured in the Atlantic. They're doing this piece on oh, like thank roommates you. and like roommates thank you. <laughs> and roommate and, and relationship and so they they reached out to us we had a long interview how long has this been going on uh 78 weeks early yeah 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 yeah, yeah so so that's the biggest thing but our like we because you calling me out really hurt me because it's the truth but like we but it's at, good it's good because you know i watched you i, I, I watched love you it. i was watching you I the whole it. time yeah like you didn't want that you don't yeah. want that on wax yeah 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 <laughs> you know what i mean yeah yeah but I saw you. I was happy. Yeah. I did it because I want you to win. Yeah, this, yeah. Is, this is the point yeah. I made earlier. Yeah. I'm not fucking making Instagram comments to be like, I'm cool and you suck. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to be like, yo, yeah. stop fucking talking. And do you, it. This is your only fucking life, motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> you know, this yeah. is it. This is yeah. it. I love yeah. it. I don't want people like, you know, people being mad at me on World Star, like being like, fuck this guy. Yeah. That doesn't hurt me. Go and see somebody 92 who regrets their whole fucking life. Yeah, that real. hurts me. That's, yeah, that's that's 18 year old Charlie in fucking Alabama who's like, fuck this guy. Yeah. It's early for him. Yeah. That's real. We Char can still fix Charlie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 92 year old Gertrude, she's finished. <laughs> Beatrice. <laughs> she's finished. And that's so, real. like, it's that's real. I don't know why it affected me from the get. I don't know why I hung out with old people when I was young. Yeah. I used to go to the playground and just jump on, like, the bench with the fucking grandparents yeah. and asked them about the Kennedy assassination and asked them about NASA and asked them about World War II. I don't know why, you know, my report card's a piece of shit hanging mm -hmm. behind you, but yeah. history for some reason is good grades. I don't know mm -hmm. why I respect the past so much. I think over time I realized because it tells me the future. Yeah. I'm not guessing out here. That's mm -hmm. real. I'm not fucking guessing out here. Yeah. I'm not doing that to act cool. Nah. I'm doing that because. <laughs> I don't do that now. Yeah. I don't reply to everybody. Yeah. But fuck, for five years I did. You know why? Because I was at zero. Yeah. yeah. I was at zero. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Zero. That's real. That's real. No, I absolutely love it. And so. And by the way, for everybody fucking. Yeah. Go ahead. Just like, because I need people to understand. 
I was at zero after working my fucking dick off for 15 years building a huge business for my dad. Yeah. Mm. Like, do not get me confused and do not use me as an excuse. Facts. I did it better than everybody. Yeah. I fucking came out the gate, worked, gave up all my 20s, no fucking fun, no fucking fun, and gave back to my parents for bringing me to America. And then at 34, I started. Mm. So I'm like... Ooh, man, geez. do you understand though? No, we understand. The reason that's powerful is like fuck, because people are out here crying at twenty seven, and their parents are paying for their Uber. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, let's get fucking serious out here. Yeah. You better find somebody else to use as an excuse, because I see it. I read it. Who am I mad at? I'm mad mm-hmm. at the person who's got a friend who's like, I love Gary Vee. Like, yeah, fuck that guy. His dad gave him three million dollars. My dad didn't give me three million dollars. Yeah. yeah. The business was doing three million on ten percent profit, three hundred thousand yeah. for all those that can't do math. <laughs> that was before expenses. I walked in that fucking place. You know, honestly, I'm underestimating what I did. Mm. I'm the reason I've got fired right now is I had a week to think. Yeah. I spent some time with my dad. I fucking came and did shit. Yeah. And gave up all the shit that everybody's worried about on Instagram. I didn't float in any fucking swans. Mm. I didn't go to the fucking Polo Hamptons this. Yeah. I had no fucking weekends. Do you know what it looks like to live your entire 20s working Saturday in a fucking liquor store from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. every fucking Saturday? Mm. Mm. So I don't want to hear shit. Yeah. Period. That's what's up. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why he's a legend. So guys... Make sure you go ahead and throw Gary some love. As we've always said, guys, continue to support who we brought on the show. Gary, mm-hmm. where can they find you on social media? Gary V-E-E. G- guys, find me. go ahead and find Good him, guys. Look. Send him a DM, a tweet, send him a message. Let him know how much we, you appreciate, how much you value him. Gary, we appreciate you, yes, man. Sir.